Hi all, this is an introduction to my uh, latest project, which is a Raspberry Pi um, internet controlled robot. So uh, just to give you a little bit of background, uh, so the purpose of this robot for me uh, is to, um, when I travel, and I uh, travel you know, up to two to three weeks, um, I'll be out of the house. And so this robot allows me to um, kind of keep an eye on my basement, uh, which I have a numerous um, sensors for fire, smoke, carbon monoxide, uh, water, water leaks, and so forth that um, I can kind of, if I ever do get a uh, alert, um, I could use this to um, see what's going on. Um, so a little bit of information uh, about the robot. So the first thing is power. Um, I was, uh, when I was originally scoping this out, I was uh, planning on building a docking station for the robot uh, that I could charge the batteries, uh, but I really couldn't find a whole lot of um, 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 projects and people that had, had actually done that. So I went to plan B. Plan B for me was, uh, as you can see, I've got a, a network cable here attached to the back of the robot. Uh, this is actually, uh, PoE, so power over Ethernet. So I've got about a 40 foot um, network cable that supplies um, five volts uh, to the Raspberry Pi and several of the um, options that are uh, connected up to it, which I'll go through here in a minute. So I've got about 40 feet of cable. Uh, it worked, actually, I'm surprised it works very well. Uh, I've been very happy with it. Um, I uh, read some articles that you may have some loss of voltage. Um, I've tried actually up to a 50 foot cable uh, and had absolutely no, no issues uh, with keeping the Raspberry uh, Pi powered. Uh, next thing I'll talk to you about is the platform. So uh, as you can see, I've actually got a tread um, uh, uh, platform on it that has two motors powering it. Originally I had a, a four wheel, uh, four motor, um, device, uh, but it really just wasn't working for me. Uh, I have a Berber carpet and it just wouldn't get any traction on that, wouldn't take, uh, wouldn't really turn corners. Uh, the wheels would just spin and, and really was pretty much useless. So I went to this um, and I've been uh, quite, uh, quite happy with it. It's not the fastest unit, uh, but it definitely can turn very easily and very smoothly. Uh, the other thing, uh, part of this is a pan tilt um, for the Raspberry Pi camera. Um, I actually ordered a fairly inexpensive one off the internet. Um, I now know why it was fairly inexpensive. It was very difficult to uh, put together. There was no instructions um, and really it just didn't work very well. Uh, so as you can see, I kind of heavily modified it, uh, took out some parts of it and uh, and it works very well for me. Uh, the Raspberry Pi camera is very light, so I don't need uh, a whole lot of strength to the unit. Uh, and this is uh, has been very good. Uh, the other part is a bright Pi uh, LED light on the front uh, by the camera. Uh, this has four very bright uh, LEDs and then eight uh, infrared LEDs. Um, I did buy the Raspberry Pi NOR uh, camera, which is no infrared, um, hoping that it would, uh, with the infrared uh, LEDs, I'd have some um, good visibility at night. Um, but I found that the LEDs just aren't really powerful enough to um, allow you to see a whole lot. So I've really relied on just the four super bright LEDs. I do plan to actually replace the eight uh, infrared LEDs with just regular uh, LEDs to give me a little bit more light. Uh, the I also have a motor controller board that drives the two motors underneath. Uh, this is a uh, L298N motor controller, very inexpensive. I think it was like eight bucks or something like that. Um, and it works actually really well for, for what I'm uh, doing here. Um, the other, uh, back to the power, I also have a LiPro uh, battery mounted underneath. This actually powers the, the motors. Uh, it's really good. It's lightweight, small, um, and it uh, gives me about one and a half hours of runtime. Uh, so I'm very impressed with that. Uh, and, and it also was uh, fairly inexpensive. 
Uh, last piece of hardware here is that you'll notice I have a Wi-Fi um, USB module. Um, I could have I could have connected it to my network using the network cable, but just so happens where I have it powered, uh, uh, have the network cable connected with the PoE into an outlet. Uh, I don't have a network drop, so I really needed the uh, Wi-Fi to connect this up to my home network. Um, I can access this from anywhere, including over LTE network. Uh, the way I do that is via, uh, I have a VPN concentrator at home that I connect to my home network through the VPN, um, and it allows me to get access uh, to uh, this, this device. Um, I could have um, uh, connected the device directly to the internet, uh, you know, by um, uh, putting SSL and a bunch of other security measures in place, uh, but because I had the VPN uh, concentrator, I didn't really worry about that. Uh, on the software side, I am running uh, Noom's OS on this, so the Raspberry operating system. Uh, I was I had worked a little bit with Linux in the past, but this was definitely uh, to go, taking me to the next level. I uh, found it very interesting, and I would say now I'm a, a good intermediate uh, level uh, Linux uh, administrator. Uh, another module, uh, software module that I use is the Wiring uh, Pi, uh, which is a GPIO uh, control software. Um, I was one of the first struggle, software struggles I came across was um, really trying to manage in, in the GPIOs without uh, requiring uh, sudo, and um, uh, which is for some reason BlackBerry uh, Raspberry has, has designed that. Uh, so this wiring Pi actually allows you to uh, control the uh, GPIOs um, without uh, requiring sudo, which is great. Uh, I'm wiring Apache web server. I think I mentioned that. I'm running the Bright Pi software, of course. I'm also running another project called Servo Blaster, which uh, controls the servos. It's very accurate. Uh, had a few issues getting it to kind of run with me, uh, but uh, it's now working perfectly and controls the two servos and I say works very, very nicely and very accurate. Um, I'm also, for the video streaming, I'm running a project uh, by Miguel Moto, uh, which is a MJPEG uh, streamer. Uh, I'm running at about 640 by 480 uh, 50 frames per second uh, res uh, on this device. Uh, certainly it can do a lot more than that, but I found the performance really suffers. Uh, this seemed to be kind of the sweet spot. Um, and I did I did research quite a few projects on this and, and uh, I really found the one by Miguel uh, to be the best, very lightweight, um, uh, very very little leg, uh, even when I'm, I have been doing some traveling and over you know not so great network connections. Uh, it seems to work um, quite quite good. Uh, as far as what I did a lot of my coding in, um, it's I wanted this to be available on a web browser, so I've done a lot of it in HTML and JavaScript, um, and then using Ajax um, calls to uh, launch the uh, different um, Bash scripts that I wrote um, for the Wiring Pi and, and different software modules that I mentioned there. Um, so with that, maybe what I'll do is uh, give you a quick demo of, uh, of the robot in action. Get that so you can see it. So I'll bring up my tablet here. So I'll start by, uh, I'll show you the tablet screen here, but I'll just move the robot around a little bit just so you can kind of see how it uh, operates. Go left, right, and go backwards, of course. Um, so I'll show you the screen here. So this is kind of the UI that I, uh, I made for this. So I'll move the, just move over the uh, um, robot a little bit here so you can see it while I hold up the screen. Just so you can see the responsiveness of the unit is actually very good. Uh, the other thing that I, um, I mentioned to you was the um, uh, LED, the bright pie. So I'll just turn that on there just so you can see it. And then I also mentioned the servo. So for the pan position, I've really got three preset conditions. Uh, one is the left, one is to go right, and then of course center. 
And then I've also got the tilt angle, which I've got uh, five preset conditions. One to, if I want to look at my ceiling for some reason. Uh, and then of course, if I want to look at the floor and then straight ahead and I've got two other in there. So really that's my uh, Raspberry Pi uh, robot. Um, it's been a very interesting project. I've really enjoyed it. Lots of challenges along the way. Uh, but I was I was able to kind of overcome um, uh, all of them. Uh, I'm still, you know, I think this will be a project that I'll be fine tuning for quite some time. Um, and if there is uh, enough interest out there, if I get enough comments, enough people asking for it, I will build uh, a series of videos that take you through the hardware and software build of this um, in detail. Uh, but for now, uh, this is it. Hope you enjoyed it. We'll talk to you soon.